video is an exciting one. The clip comes from the newly released movie, Alita, Battle Angel, directed by James Cameron. This is Alita. She is an extremely advanced battle cyborg who is the sole survivor of a war that happened 300 years prior. She has lost her memory, but her martial abilities are so ingrained that she reacts instinctively. In this clip, Alita is playing motorball. It's a sport that is essentially a cross-up between soccer, racing, and no rules MMA. The object is to get the ball, race around the track, and score a goal. Along the way, don't get smashed by the other players. In this particular game, however, all of the other players have been instructed to target Alita specifically and try to kill her. She only finds this out right before the race starts, so she has no choice but to fight. Right away, Alita is going to be challenged just to get off the line. Those other cyborgs are packed in around her and she has to get away without getting destroyed. This is an absolutely terrible position to be in, but she jumps over the initial SARM and takes off. One cyborg is overeager and crashes while trying to hit Alita. It is said that the best defense is a good offense. Alita certainly subscribes to this school of thought and decides to take the fight to the other cyborgs instead of waiting around for them to make the first move. Too many cooks spoil the soup, or in this case, the assassination. There are just simply too many killer cyborgs in the arena and they are just tripping over each other. Or deliberately interfering with each other. Enemy of my enemy is my friend? In essence, martial arts is motion properly utilized. In this arena, that motion includes speed. Although this cyborg overshot his objective, slowing himself down like this is poor judgment and it's a failure to understand his environment. That speed gives someone even as small as Alita a great amount of force to work with. Properly applied, she can smash up these much bigger cyborgs. As the object of this game is to have the ball in possession at the end of the race, it is counterintuitive to the actual game to voluntarily give up possession of the ball. But to survive a fight, rules almost always have to be broken. The most important thing now isn't the race, it's the fight to survive. Alita is very good at avoiding melee strikes from the other players, but she is taken off guard by this gun, and it gets her trapped. Getting trapped by a bigger, stronger opponent is a very dangerous position to be in. However, Alita's adaptability and flexibility allow her to escape. As opposed to earlier, in this case, losing some speed was a good move. Martial arts has no hard and fast rules. This is Alita's first contest of this type, so I am sure it's difficult to process everything that is happening. However, she should have been much more aware of this fellow behind her. She recovers really well and takes the fight back to him, but it is better to avoid that hit in the first place. The cyborg lost his speed and power and is now no match for Alita's flexible fighting style. But now Alita has lost her speed in an arena where that is the order of the day. She has to get moving again, or she will be the sitting duck. Rules are out the window, and the intent of the other cyborgs to kill Alita is now made clear. There is no point staying in this game anymore. Alita has received a call for help from her human boyfriend who is being hunted by yet another cyborg. She decides to leave the arena and to go and help him. This will take the fight into new and interesting terrain. Pipe X Machina. It was very kind of the city architects to put that pipe there to serve as a pseudo racetrack. I would like to believe that Alita is a very prepared martial artist and that she scouted out the area beforehand so she would know how to escape if necessary. How each individual deals with this spraying pipe is instructive. Alita is very flexible and she slides underneath. The first opponent is not quite so flexible but she jumps over. The second guy thinks that he is much stronger than he is and he ends up paying for it. And the third guy is actually as strong as he thinks he is and he just smashes through. Alita's awareness of her surroundings is certainly one of her most valuable attributes. She grabs and swings off this wire to outmaneuver her opponents who are so focused on her they are barely paying attention to their surroundings. But in the end, they finally get their act together and bring down Alita, but not for long. Now Alita's flexibility and strength come into play. The saw guy puts too much force behind his blow and he isn't able to pull his punch until much too late. This part is awesome. This guy would be a tough opponent for anyone because of his size, strength, armor, and weapons. But his size plays against him here. 
he isn't able to contort himself against the forces pulling him fast enough to cut the chains before he is pulled into the machinery and crushed. There's always a bigger fish. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon for supporting the making of these videos. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so I can continue making these for you. The link is also in the description.